You know, I honestly really intended for this game to be a uh, to be a Goupard game, but when I was sitting in the tier six queue and I was looking at the uh, like the different ships in queue, out of fifty three players in the queue, there were eight carriers, and I was, I just saw that I was like, nope, I am not willing to put up with that today, so we are playing this instead. Uh, first things first, looking at the matchmaking, threats to my ship, there's, a uh, Indomitable there, uh, Brisbane Radar, Worcester Radar, Petro Radar, uh, that's kind of annoying, but at very least the Worcester is a short range radar and the Petro is a short duration radar. Uh, Brisbane is gonna be really annoying because that's the, uh, stealth radar because, uh, that's a, that's everyone's favorite thing in the game is stealth radar. Uh, Shima and Akazuki for destroyers, and a U-4501, and on the opposite end, we get a blacklist Ditchleafen. So, that is uh, a little suboptimal, but I guess we'll work with it. Uh, you know, there's not even a guarantee that we face check a carrier over, or not a carrier, a destroyer over here, because there's only two... Uh, destroyers and there's three cap circles although it's probably it, it's likely that if we're not contested by a destroyer it's probably going to be a submarine who looks like it did not spawn on our side for once uh which is nice uh shima and akizuki uh i don't outgun an aki and i don't out spot a shima so that's uh, a little annoying uh Hindenburg is stuck bowing, so hopefully this Montana, Stalin, Amagai, or Schlieffen can clap him. Uh, but that wasn't really that much of a clapping, if I'm being honest. There's the okay. There's a shimmer right there. That is a 17-9 shimmer. Is this guy going to smoke up? Yes, he is. So I'm going to smoke up as well, because I do not want to be spotted. Here, fuck me! Okay, there we go. Alright, we're safe. Now, honestly, we might have a green light to just run it down at a shimmer. If this fucking Stalingrad would hit a radar... Is Stalingrad even moving? No, he's fucking not. Of course he's not. Your typical Stalin players just sit nose in and not radar the fucking destroyers that were spotted right in front of your head. Uh, okay. But, whatever. We're just gonna go see if maybe we can manage to run, run one of them down. Uh, maybe hijack this smoke while we're at it. If this Shima is smart, he's turning back towards his team. But if he's not, if he wants to play the greedy man's game, he might be, uh, trying to get into, like, this grove to get some torpedo shots on the, uh, on the Stalin, Montana, and Ama guy that are just kind of, like, having a big ol' clusterfuck over there. Yep. Imagine if that Stalin radar this guy. Uh, we're good. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Matt, don't fucking well done me. You could have radared his ass, and you fucking didn't. But whatever, I digress. Uh, it looks like there's a submarine in C now. Uh, there, Akazuki was spotted over towards A. He is currently in A, as a matter of fact. 
Unless that's the Brisbane, but I don't think it is because I don't think he was spotted uh, recent. It was spotted too recently for that to be Brisbane. I don't think the Brisbane can cover that much distance in 20 seconds. So, and yet is in fact a submarine. I'm not going to shoot right here. Don't you dare ping me. All right. Hopefully these depth charge planes kill him right there, to be honest. Uh, yeah, there he goes. Alright. Now we get to deal with the Brisbane. Which is going to be annoying, because uh, Brisbane does get stealth radar. And our carrier is just going to go and farm a Wisconsin instead of spotting the ship that's literally in fucking B. But I guess... To Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell happened there? Oh, well, okay. Never mind. I can see a little bit why he might want to farm a little bit of damage. Because uh, the game's probably going to not last long enough for him to do much else. Uh, looks like there's going to be an Akazuki. All that honestly could be the Akazuki in B, because I see a smoke screen over there. Although it is a little hard to judge exactly where that smoke is. It could be where he was last spotted right there. Uh, but I am a little worried about face checking a, a Brisbane and being stuck nose in. That would not be an ideal scenario. We're just going to get these planes to fuck off. Reinforce sector uh, defensive fire. And we get 69 DPS on those planes, by the way. AA destroyer, by the way. Okay. And there's, of course, there's the fucking Brisbane... Alright, whatever. Just gonna have to tank it, I guess. And of course, here comes these fucking planes. Well, maybe if someone would dev strike this Brisbane, that would be ideal. Uh, those look like Brisbane torpedoes. Go. And there's there's the Brisbane clap that I don't get any spotting credit for. Love to see it. Now I'm just gonna step into B here. And either spot that Brisbane for the Montana or the Amagai or Ismo to clap. Or we might sit in this channel and look for a... Nah, he's going to go behind the island there. And this Akazuki is not going to be very interested in trying to do anything about us. And our shim is donating. Well... Call that a game extension, at least. Uh, their carrier got got, by the way. Uh, he literally didn't move until there was a Montana and a Stalingrad, like, right on his ass. Uh, that's pretty good. This is, like, the truest to life randoms experience that you're going to get. It's just games like this, over and over again, where you either roll the enemy team just like a, like a fucking roll of sod or they roll you like a fucking roll of sod like there's very rarely an in between it's either you get rolled or you roll the enemy or you get run at by a brisbane uh that that's also a thing Oh, this, uh, ooh, oof, there. 
And uh, this guy's about. Like, watch this. Des Moines, hello? Are you going to sh He shot 18 at the fucking gamer turning Brisbane. There he goes. He's finally switched to the armor piercing now, but. Uh, not before getting fucking clapped by, I think that was the Petro. Bounces. Nice. And there goes the Des Moines. Alright. Uh, right now, I think what I want to do is I want to go Akizuki hunting. Uh, we did just lose RPF, which is actually interesting. I think uh, it's actually because of the submarine surfacing. I think the RPF just switched to him. And more torpedoes. I'm just going to smoke up right here because this Akizuki is being plane spotted. And I'm going to miss everything. Come on. There goes the Petro. That Akizuki actually has some semblance of IQ. He didn't just brainlessly reverse in his smoke. Come on. We might be reversing now, though. Uh... Come on, get him, get him, get him. Fuck you. Okay. There we go. And now it's just farm a schliefen until the game ends. Or until we lose line of fire. Whichever happens first. Or until he dies. That also. Uh, I guess you would count that as the game ending though. Because that would, in fact, end the game. I love how even though he's like the last one left alive, alive on his team and uh, and he's on double caps, this fucking Schlieffen still decides that his play is going to be do a gamer turn to get behind an island to hide from an Ismo. Here's your typical Schlieffen players. N and this is like the single truest to life random game you'll ever see. It's just this fucking over and over again. Like, and I have a bunch of like videos of like blowouts just like this one on the channel as well. But, and, okay, there you go. That's the game over. We only lost four ships. Although, to be fair, this was like a 13 minute game, which is actually a bit longer than uh, than your typical blowout, but uh, Stalingrad had a decent little game there. Uh, we got to run at a stupid Shima player who still placed higher than his submarine, by the way. So uh, let that sink in. Uh, that is the rest of my motivation to play this game gone for today. So on that note, uh, this game sucks, and and yeah, that's it. I'll see you.